Hello, I just ended my last vlog and told you that I was at my hair appointment if you saw that one So I am starting my next video right now and I am about to go in and I also had said that this vlog would be Partially a Q&A. So I think what I'm gonna do is just it'll still be a vlog and throughout the vlog I'm just gonna answer questions So I'm gonna wait till after my hair appointment because I really need to go in I'm not gonna answer any now, but Throughout this whole vlog, I'm just going to answer questions that you guys sent in. I always like to show what I'm asking for, just so you guys can see that I never actually get what I ask for when I get my hair done. <laughs> just kidding, that's not why I show it, but here's one of the pictures that I like. I'm getting a few inches cut off for sure. I'm gonna ask for chunky highlights. I love this girl's front pieces, how they're super blonde. Ask for it every time, never get it. And then I love this haircut. I love all the layers. Not sure if I'll regret getting a bunch of layers, but I'm gonna go for it because right now, obviously my hair is like not really done right now and I actually just mowed the lawn so it looks ridiculous because <laughs> it was up in a bun. I don't know, it's just so blah and I can't do anything with it. It's huge, it's very long. <laughs> Cutting off a bunch on the end, getting it thinned out, getting, it actually looks pretty blonde in this angle but the top is super grown out though. So I will see you after my hair appointment probably. I feel like a new person. Look how short my hair is. It's been forever since it's been this short. Not gonna lie, it's a little shorter than I pictured, but I'm fine with it. It's 8.04, which means Eric is probably at home attempting bedtime for both of the girls by himself, so I'm gonna try to get home. Good morning guys, I am in the car. I just dropped Ace off for grooming. I have my mom with me and the girls and we're probably gonna go on a walk now. But um, it's been a couple days since I got my hair done. Today was my first time kind of styling it myself. I really barely did anything other than straightened it a little bit, but I still really like it better than the past probably 10 haircuts that I've gotten. I had said that I wanted this vlog or this video to be kind of part vlog, part Q&A, and I'm just gonna answer questions throughout. So I posted on my story this morning for questions and I thought I would just answer the first one now while I'm sitting here. So one of the first ones that was asked is, are you still doing your 5 a.m. morning routine? And I kind of am some days I want to be. For a while, the girls were both waking up at like 5.30. It would have made sense for me to just get up at 5 a.m. still, even to just have the 30 minutes to myself, but I got kind of lazy about it then because I was like, they are up so early. Literally all I get done is my shower and brushing my teeth, if even. So I got lazy about it for a few weeks, but this morning I woke up at 5.30 and they both woke up like after seven. So thankfully they're waking up a little later. So I've been waking up a little earlier. And I know even when they were waking up early, I probably could have just woken up at four or something, but I just didn't want to do that. Someday in the future when I have more kids, if I feel like that's necessary, I will wake up at four. But to answer the question, I'm kind of some days still waking up at 5 a.m. I still wake up earlier than them, just not always right at five. We just got here and I already stepped in someone else's dog poop. Or maybe it's goose poop, I don't even know. Okay, we have been swimming at my parents' house for like a couple hours now, having so much fun. It's our first cool day of the year, and I thought I would answer another question. So somebody asked, do I have good tips for finding mom friends um, in my area? And thankfully for me, a lot of my friends that I already had ended up having kids around the same time as me. So I feel like most of my mom friends are just people that I already knew, but there are so many times when I've been at Quinn's swim class or at the park or even at church or whatever and I'll see other moms with kids my kids age and think like, oh, I could totally see myself being friends with that person or something. Or maybe we just talk for a couple seconds and like I think I also do click easily with most people. So I used to meet with my friends like once a month maybe um, until almost all of us have kids now and it's harder for us to all get together. But 
there were so many times when we were more consistent with it that I would see somebody at swim class or something and like start talking and be like, oh, I really want to invite her. But then I'm like, I don't even have time to see my friends that I already have as often as I want to. So when I start, that's an airplane. When I start seeing my friends that I already have as often as I would like to, just when my schedule frees up a little bit more, then maybe I'll be better at making more mom friends but yeah i think it's just i think it's just easy to start a conversation with other moms that have kids around your kids age that was a truck um just talk about your kids even i mean especially if you seem to be in the same phase of life it's just easy to start talking about your kids and how old are they and what do they like to do just stuff like that and i am an introvert so it is not naturally easy for me to talk to people that i don't know but I do feel like once I start talking to them, I usually enjoy it. So my friend Ashley just came over with her baby. So we're having a girls pool day today. Well, we were having a pool day, but we hear thunder now. So I think it's about to rain. We're probably gonna end up heading inside in a minute. Rain is so much less depressing in the summer though. It's almost like pretty and I welcome it. Okay, we just got back from our little pool day over at my parents' house. I just have Brio with me right now because Quinn was going out for her nap there since my mom was gonna be there anyway. I was gonna have both of them just take their nap there since we were already there and it was past nap time, but it just was not happening for Bria. So I brought her home thinking she'll definitely go to sleep when we get home. And that didn't happen either because she fell asleep in the car on the way home and that just, totally ruined the nap so I'm just going to take the seeds out of some cherries and go out on the deck with her okay we just sat down to have dinner and and we match we do we actually don't like to match you should comment below if you and your husband or boyfriend, whoever, like to match or don't like to match. The we do not. We don't. Like if one of, if we're matching when we walk out from getting dressed, one of us changes, but this happened without knowing until we got into the car basically, so. I was planning on making dinner and I was gonna make burrito bowls tonight, but for some reason I have a super bad headache today and just really don't wanna cook dinner even though I didn't wanna eat out either. So we ended up getting Chipotle and then I just, I added my own sour cream when we got home because still to this day, thank you to whoever commented on one of my videos when I accidentally bought plain yogurt. Actually, I think it was a couple of you that told me I should use it as a sour cream replacement because now I literally buy it for the purpose of being like sour cream in meals. Good morning, it is the next day and I am, well we're kind of in the middle of eating breakfast right now. We've been, we had avocado toast and cherries and I'm making salmon for breakfast because I'm sure all of you who have kids know they just go through phases where they won't eat things that they've eaten their whole lives all of a sudden. For instance, we used to eat eggs every single morning and now we're just in a phase where they don't want to eat them. So. I'm trying to switch up our protein, like what time of day we have it, because that helps a lot of times. So I bought this salmon for us to have for lunch this week, one day, but instead I'm making it for breakfast and we'll have hard boiled eggs for lunch instead. We've also been going through so much honey this spring. We use honey a lot. And actually I haven't talked about this in so long. So if you followed me for quite a while then you probably know this but my dad um, does beekeeping and he has his own beehives and this is honey for my dad's beehives because local honey is just so incredibly good for you um, I think it's I've heard within like five miles of you so even if my dad didn't do beekeeping at this point I would probably just find somebody local to buy it from because I've always had super bad allergies my mom did for years my sisters do so that's why my dad really even started beekeeping 
um, because it's supposed to be super good for you if you have allergies. Do you want to just hold it big? It has been like snowing pollen outside the last few days. Okay, we are at my parents' house. Our friends are going to be here any second for our pool day, but I thought I would answer a couple more questions really quick that I can get to. So. I actually got a couple questions about Ace, so I thought I'd answer those. Somebody asked, how old is Ace? He is four and a half, and someone asked, is your dog a golden doodle? And yes, he is. He's an F1B golden doodle. I actually have a whole golden doodle playlist if you want to go watch dog content. Someone asked, how are you doing lately? Which is so nice, and I'm doing so good lately. I'm really loving this phase of life so much. Um, Bria does still feel like a baby, but she also is starting to feel a little more like a toddler, which is sad, and it's really nice because I feel a little bit more freed up in certain ways, like not breastfeeding, and she's getting a little bit more independent. Then also, toddlers are definitely more work than babies, in my opinion, so I don't know. I just feel like I am able to do more things that I wasn't able to do the past like two or three or four summers even, just because the past four years I've either been pregnant or breastfeeding or had a smallish baby and this year I'm not pregnant or breastfeeding or have a small baby but don't get me wrong there are still definitely days and like for instance last week was super hard I just felt like I was drowning almost every day and now this week I haven't felt like that as much so that was a long answer to that question but I hope I kind of got my points across Hi guys, I am just getting out of physical therapy, which I don't think I've talked about at all on my channel yet because I kind of started going pretty much when I started my little break from YouTube, but I just got out. So I thought I would answer another question because I'm actually by myself. How do you keep your kids' rooms so organized? Do you get rid of toys ever? I do not always keep my kids' rooms organized. I feel like their rooms, are probably the ones that stay the most organized just because we're not in them as much as we're like in the living room or kitchen or the bathroom or whatever throughout the day. We do play in their rooms, but they just don't get as cluttery. Throughout the week, both of their dressers end up with piles of clothes or toys or books on the floor. And sometimes I get to it every day, but usually I don't. So once the pile gets too big, I go in and put it all away. And yes, I get rid of toys pretty often because I don't want to keep things that we don't use. So I sell stuff at Once Upon a Child a lot, go through toys, books, clothes. I love to do that so that I can make money from it. So yeah, I'm not always organized. <laughs> I feel like I do show a mess in my vlogs. Sometimes I try to straighten up, but I'm like, it's real life. Nobody's house is perfect all the time when you have kids, so it's reality. If I can easily angle my camera in a vlog where there's not a mess in the background, I'm gonna do it. My battery is flashing, so I don't know if my camera will hold up, but I've been going to physical therapy because, very long story short, I have sciatica and I have a bulging disc in my back. <laughs> And I have had this for years and never knew what it was, which is just super frustrating. I've been listening to Shannon Tripp's podcast with her husband. She's one of the most positive people on the internet, I swear. If you need a good podcast, go listen to it. Okay, I'm back home. We had dinner and Eric and I have just been playing outside with the girls for quite a while now. Anyway, on my way back from physical therapy, I stopped at Plato's Closet and got some shorts. I used to shop there all the time in high school. I still sell stuff there, like when I go through my closet and have a bunch of stuff that I don't want, I take it there to sell. I haven't actually like bought stuff, but I needed some shorts and I was passing by there and I was like, I'm just gonna go in and look because it just seemed like something they would have like a big selection of and they did. Honestly, kind of hate the colors of these. They're like super bright, but I love this style. As you can see, one of my friends actually gave these to me. These ones are a little longer, and I don't mind shorts being a little longer, but I hope they're not like too long. I don't know, but I thought the color was cool, the green color, so. Mm -hmm. No, they're little sharks. We are back having another pool day for the evening. 
just my mom and the girls and me right now again. I thought I would answer a question real quick because they're pretty content for a second. Okay, someone asked, did you use any sleep training programs with the girls? And there was also another question asking how we sleep trained or something. And I think I've answered something similar before, but we did not do any sleep training programs with either of the girls. Um, I was open to it if I felt like we needed to, but both times we didn't need to. And actually, after going through two kids without it, I don't think I ever will, honestly. Um, Quinn was an amazing sleeper ever since the very start and still is. Bria's another story. We also did let Bria sleep in our bed with us um, more just because she needed it. And Quinn never needed it. Like, she was always fine sleeping next to us and Bria just wasn't, so... Bria slept in our bed with us more, which made it harder when we transitioned her to her room, but better after we transitioned her to her room. Like all three of us were sleeping better. Monumental moment, my hair is in a claw clip. It looks a little crazy because I just stuck it in, but it's in and I couldn't even do that before. We just got back from the store. We went to Menards. We had to get a bunch of stuff for outside that we've needed like fuel for the tiki torches and random things like that, some dirt for planting more flowers. Now the girls are both taking their naps. So I'm going to make lunch for Eric and me. I think I'm gonna make this Moroccan carrots and rice bowls. That sounds amazing and it sounds really fresh, which today is super hot. So a fresh meal sounds very good. Look how colorful these carrots are. I've never even seen these in the store, but I guess they're called rainbow carrots according to my recipe card. I love Green Chef's recipe cards because they make the instructions so clear. They even put pictures for people that feel like they're not the best at cooking. They put all the steps on the card along with pictures of what you're gonna be doing. Green Chef is also a CCOF certified organic company. They have meals for every lifestyle. They have vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, paleo, keto, fast and fit, and Mediterranean, so something for everybody. We do the vegetarian meal plan. I think all of the meals are so fresh and light, which is why I like to do that one. They do make it super convenient and easy if you wanna switch between meal plans, and you can also mix and match meal plans if your household has eaters that prefer different meal plans. I promise I'll stop talking about the purple carrots after this, but look at this. This is what they look like on the inside. These are so cool and so pretty. I wanna buy purple carrots from now on, but I don't know if I've ever even, like I've never even noticed them at the store, probably just cause I was never looking for them. But once again, Green Chef introducing me to things that I've never had and never tried. Okay, this looks so good as usual. So Eric and I are sitting out here trying to get a couple more things done before the girls wake up. We're gonna eat lunch, but if you would like to try Green Chef, you can use my code CARAJANE60 and that will give you 60% off plus free shipping on your first box. You can go to greenchef.com for more details. And while we're sitting here eating, I thought I would answer a couple more questions that were asked. One of you had asked if I would be into gardening or if I would wanna have a garden. I can't find it right now. I think it was asked on YouTube. So yes, I've actually wanted to start a garden and Eric has kind of wanted to do it with me for a while, but we've always just said we'll do it at our next house. Um, our yard isn't huge here. It's like a lot more, it goes out to the sides of the house more than it does back. And it's just hard to find a good place to put it. But one thing that we were just looking at at the store is wood because I do want to have a little herb garden and Eric's going to build me one. I thought this was really cool and it would be something that we could take with us when we move. Mine would probably not be as long as those are. And then where they wrote in things with chalk, Eric's gonna like make that out of wood um, on his machine. But we'll probably do that in the next couple weeks, maybe, we'll see. I definitely want to grow basil. I keep putting off buying a basil plant because I want to do this instead of like putting it in a pot. And I guess I could get it started in a pot, but I'm kind of just waiting. But I also keep buying mint at the store. I keep buying like fresh rosemary and thyme for different recipes or whatever and parsley. So I feel like it would be beneficial to just grow it myself. And especially if it's in something like that where I can just take it with us to our next house anyway. So definitely in the future, 
I would want to do like a full garden. I would love to be able to just provide our own fruits and vegetables or at least a lot of them rather than buying them. So when that time comes, I'm sure I'll be asking for all the gardening tips. I am making homemade popsicles with my regular daily smoothie that we make in the mornings because like I said, the things that I usually make like every single day that we've eaten for the past few years haven't been being accepted lately, specifically at breakfast. So we used to have eggs in a smoothie every single morning for like the past couple years. And sometimes I'd switch it up. Usually once a week I make chicken breakfast sausage. Bria will still drink the smoothie every morning, but neither of them have been eating the eggs and Quinn doesn't even want her smoothie lately. So I thought I would make it because I like them to have these for all the things that I put into it. And I'm sure she'll eat it in popsicle form out on the deck when it's hot and think it's a dessert. So there are lots of ways to get your kids to eat things. You just gotta find them. I am about to plant some flowers in this pot. These are the only ones we have left. Okay, it is Sunday afternoon. I haven't used this car tripod in forever, so it's likely going to fall. <laughs> cause I'm pretty sure I haven't used it in forever cause it kept falling. Eric and I are on our way to a little concert with my family. My dad got us tickets to, it's like a John Denver tribute show, which I'm excited for. Eric's not as into old music, but I think he'll still like enjoy it. Yeah. My dad actually got us tickets a few weeks ago to a different one that was a tribute band to Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons, and I loved it. We were definitely the youngest people in the entire room, but I love old music because my dad always was playing it when we were growing up. I think you didn't listen to it growing up, so you just think of it as like old music, but I think it's like fun and makes me feel like I'm in a different era, and I love it. I'm not like a huge John Denver fan or anything, but I'm definitely like familiar with some songs and stuff just since my dad played it a lot. And yeah, I think it'll be fun. We went to church this morning, then we went home, did some stuff around the house, and now we're going to this. So, actually while we're in the car, I'll answer another question. I've had quite a few questions asking if we have any travel plans for this summer. And we don't really have a vacation planned, but I'm definitely gonna go to Minnesota at some point um, to see my relatives. And I also have my family from Saudi Arabia coming into the US, so we wanna go up there to see them at some point. They're gonna be in Minnesota too. I have quite a few cousins and my aunt and my cousins have kids that live in Saudi Arabia. So they only make it over to see us every few years and it's probably been like five years maybe since I've seen them. I actually made a vlog on it like probably five years ago, last time we saw them. So that should be really fun because one of my cousins has a daughter that's the same age as Quinn. They've never met, so it should be fun. John Denver concert. How does it feel to be the youngest person in the room? I think I should get a prize personally, maybe a cash prize. <laughs> Which song would you like? I already know um, you're gonna Sunshine say. on my shoulders. I thought you'd say moving on a jet plane. No. 
That's probably second. If you're you viewers, like are you having fun? Sure. What's your favorite song by John Denver? Probably Country Road. That was the second one he did. Great. How do you like it? Good. I'm super tired though. I know. We're both like fighting it. It's really good, but we're so tired. He has some songs that are very just acoustic and you know, calming. Yes. It's not helping out. So hold on this big way. Wash us all ashore with nothing left to save. So leave here and be brave. There's nothing more in store for a man that never gave. So go find a remedy, a medicine we all agree. And you should know I'm just a stone's throw away A mile down the road in a phone booth I wait And when are you gone? I've been finishing up this episode of Shannon Tripp's podcast, episode three, while I'm working in the kitchen, and it is so good, guys. If you are a parent, you should go listen to this. It was such a good reminder and just so good. Highly, highly, highly recommend this and probably the whole podcast, even though there's probably like 10 episodes out now and I'm only on number three. The first three have been amazing. The girls are in bed. The concert was a lot of fun. It was just fun to go as a family and hear old music. And like I said, I like that music because of my dad. So it was just fun to go and hear it with him. I just made some homemade granola bars. In my last vlog, I said that I was trying a lot of new recipes and this has been one that I've been making. I'm gonna link it below because I've made them a couple times now and we really like them. I have substituted a couple things because this calls for protein powder, which I didn't have. So I just put in a little bit of flaxseed instead. It also called for almond butter and I just had peanut butter. So peanut butter is gonna be one of my very next products in my house to switch over to a better option. I've bought this same one from Aldi for years now. It's kind of mindlessly buying it. I need peanut butter, I get this one from Aldi. And if you don't follow Just Ingredients on Instagram, I'm gonna link it below because it's one of my favorite accounts and has been for quite a while now. She shares so many things about which products are better to buy and she does like pictures of good, better, best and I love that. It's very helpful. So she actually made a reel a while back that um, she went to Aldi for the first time. I guess they don't have one where she lives. She went through and showed a bunch of products that Aldi carries that are clean ingredients and peanut butter was one of them. She picked up the better one and she was saying that all you ever need in peanut butter is peanuts and salt. So after I saw that, I went and looked at the ingredients in this one and it's peanuts, sugar is the second ingredient, vegetable oil, cottonseed, soybean, salt, and molasses. So I'm not gonna be buying this one again. It's just so crazy how you buy things like this so mindlessly, just not even thinking that it might be not great for you. It's not like I bought this thinking it was healthy for me either, but anyway, it is good to know that Aldi does have the better option. So the recipe calls for melted chocolate on top, but I cut the girls a little bit smaller and I don't put chocolate on theirs. Um, and then for Eric and me, I put melted chocolate and cacao nibs, which is technically what you're supposed to do according to the recipe. As I've mentioned before, I feel like it's unnecessary to put chocolate on stuff like this if you have the option to avoid it for kids. And I will say it again, it's not that I don't let them have chocolate, but I feel like it's unnecessary when they like them like this and chocolate makes kids hyper and changes their mood. So my choice is just to avoid it. And yeah, Eric loves these. I love them, the girls love them, it's a good, healthy alternative to buying granola bars. It's pretty easy and I just like that now I'll have these in the cupboard all week and I can pull them out instead of something processed. It was also cheaper to make these and I have 12 granola bars for probably what was worth a couple dollars of ingredients rather than buying like a box of six for probably five dollars. I think I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys liked it. I actually had a lot of fun doing the Q&A throughout the video because sometimes when I'm vlogging, I feel like I wanna show something but I don't necessarily have anything to say with it. And I don't wanna post a vlog with no talking or like hardly any talking, so. It was fun to actually be saying things that I knew you guys wanted to hear about because 
It was questions that you asked. I definitely did not get to all the questions, so I'm sorry if I didn't answer yours. Maybe I'll do this again throughout one of my next vlogs and answer more that I didn't get to because I did save them all that you had asked. Let me know what you thought of it. I'm actually genuinely curious if you liked this style with Q&A throughout the vlog or if it was kind of weird and choppy like that. Maybe I'll have my answer to that when I edit this vlog. But let me know what your opinion is. I really do want to know since you guys are the ones that watch it and I will see you soon with my next video. Bye guys. Bye.